What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over how to use site link extensions, how to add them to your ads, and some best practices to follow as you create site link extensions. So it's going to be a pretty simple video today. We're going to be pretty quick here. Um, so we're here in AdWords. We have our one enabled campaign here and so far we don't have any site links added. So we're going to click on the campaign and you'll see all these tabs at the top. We want to go into add extensions. Um, from here they're going to automatically go to call extensions. You can see we have call extensions actually enabled here. Um, but what we want to do is come in here and click down to site links extensions. So right now there's been no site link extensions added to the campaign. Um, as you'll see they have account extensions. So these if you have 10 campaigns basically what it does is it adds these site links that you set at the account level to every single campaign. And uh, usually you do it if you have like two or three pages on your website that are really important or if you're running a sale regularly like let's say once a month you run a sale you can use an account extension and just update that extension each month um, so it makes it a lot easier to manage um, so we're not going to do account extensions today we're going to use campaign extensions um, the other option uh, we will use ad, ad group extensions we'll show how uh, how to use these so won't be too much different in the ad groups but what's good about the ad group extensions is you can really really laser target your ad to what people are searching and it's it's great for you know it's 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 great for people who have a lot of different ad groups and a lot of different campaigns and also a lot of competition because you can let your ad stand out from the pack um, so I'll show you how now so let's say we're gonna do AdWords management for our ad group extension so we're gonna click on the ad group over here click add extension All right, right now we have none added. You'll see up here, use ad group, ad group site link extension. So we're gonna do new site link. Um, so our link text is gonna be contact us today. So what you wanna do is pick the page on your website that you wanna send traffic to. Um, so you wanna make sure you have these pages obviously on your website. Um, so we're gonna do slash contact. Um, the description, these don't show up all the time, the descriptions, but it is still a best practice to add them because if you don't have them enabled, then they'll obviously never show up. If you do have them enabled, then when people are searching really more towards your business and things of that nature, they'll show the descriptions. Um, so we can make this very simple. So contact us for, or let's go AdWords management. Give Surfside PPC a call today. All right, so once we click save, it's actually going to put the site link up here, and then you can add it right over here. And you'll see these arrows over here. You can remove them that way. So right now, there's no site links in the ad group, or we can add them. So let's add contact us today. And what you want to do as a best practice, and you'll see it here, select at least four site links to use with this ad group. So you'll want to use at least four. Um, you can use more. Generally, what I try to do is use four and pick the four most important pages for my business. Um, so let's add four or three more here. So let's say pricing. So we're going to go affordable PPC advertising services, Ooh, period. And obviously you have character counts over here, so you get 35 characters per line. In site links, I use a lot of today. I use a lot of now. I use a lot of things of that nature so that people kind of try to take action at that moment. Um, so you'll see today here, today here. Um, so these are just different things that I'll use. So someone sees this, if they see the description line and they see, oh, check out our pricing today, maybe they'll click and and maybe it'll lead to a, a new client for me. So let's add two more. So what we're going to add next is our services. And what you can also do with the description lines, which sometimes I don't do it that often, but you could combine them both basically to just be one long sentence. So let's say check out a list of our PPC advertising services. All 
All right, and the last thing we're gonna do, so now here's where you can get a little bit more targeted. So let's say I want to use these three site links for really any ad group, and what I wanna do is add one ad group site link extension that's, that's laser focused towards one of these things. So let's say I have AdWords management up here. What I wanna do is add a new site link. So the keywords in this group are really geared towards AdWords management. So let's do my link text exactly that. So now let's say I have an AdWords management page on my website. This would be really a best practice here. Let's see if I can fit this. It's going to be close. Perfect. And so what now we have here is our last site link where we have AdWords management, our final URL going here. So now we have our four site links set up and what all these do is send traffic to different pages on our website. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot about site links is are we able to use four site links that tra drive traffic to the same page? And the answer is yes. So I have my contact one up here today and you'll see my URL right here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create one more site link just as an example. So let's just say so let's just say I want another, I want one to say contact us today and one that says call us now. I can use the same exact final URL and I'm just going to forego the description line for this example, but I'm going to use the same exact URL and click save. And there's really no issue with having a site link down here, right here, surfsideppc.com slash contact and also up here. In fact, I could set all five of these to go to the contact pages. Let's say, let's say I just change the link text a little bit for all of them. I could have them all go to the contact page. If that's, if there's really one page on your website that you want to drive traffic to, then that, that's all you need to do. Um, so for this example, I'm going to remove this one back here. So you'll see it stays over here. Uh, you could remove these like this if some of them are a little old or outdated. And now all we have to do down here is click save. And we have our ad group extensions down here. Now, if you have ad group extensions, you really don't need campaign extensions. Um, I'd recommend still adding them to it, but you don't need it. So now we have them set up for this one ad group. Let's go into the second ad group we have here. And as you can see, site link extensions haven't been added yet. So we're going to click this red extension button. And what it'll automatically do is add the extensions we've created already, which makes your life a lot easier. So the first step tends to be a little bit longer. Now we're going to add these three. And what we're going to do is add our fourth site link. And we're going to do PPC marketing management. So hopefully this fits. All right, perfect. And our final URL, we're going to send them to the contact page, just like in the other one. So here in the description, so you set up your description here. So now we have four site links added for for each of the ad groups. And the last thing I kind of want to go over here is, and you've probably seen it as I'm making the site links, is some of these different options here. So let's just do a quick little, so right here, the first one, mobile. If you click on a mobile for device preference, that site link will only show on mobile devices. So the way I set them up, they're going to show on desktop and mobile devices, and they should show up the same exact way. There's really not going to be a huge difference. Sometimes you would use mobile because it's a little bit smaller screen, so you might want to use a little bit less text, um, something that people can read a little bit easier. You know, let's say you do, instead of doing something like this, for example, on desktop, you might just go with contact us because mobile screens tend to be smaller, so this will actually fit better, read better for the customer, and, and more people will contact you. So I generally don't use mobile too often, but if you do want mobile-specific ad extensions, you just click this here. 
So here's the other thing, URLs for mobile. So what you can do instead of doing that, instead of clicking mobile, is let's say I have a URL on my page that's more mobile friendly, like let's just say contact mobile. So now on a desktop URL, it's going to send them here. On a mobile URL, it's going to send them here. So you're able to set up different URLs if, if your mobile website isn't responsive or if you have different different types of URLs depending on the device that people are using. Um, so we're going to get rid of this here. The other options you have are start and end dates. So this is great for a promotion. So let's say if you have 50% off today. What you can do is just set up the start and end date as today. And that's all you really need to do. Now the last thing is site link URL options. So these are really tracking templates and it's a little more of an advanced feature. Um, we're not going to go over this today, but it's just something that's good to know if you use tracking template templates or custom parameters. So let's save this. And I actually don't want this 50% off today here, so we're going to remove it. Removing it is permanent. And that's it. So now we have our site link set up for both ad groups. And we don't really need to set campaign extensions because we have our ad group extensions set up. Um, the way site link extensions generally work is AdWords will use your ad group ones first, your campaign one second, and your account ones third. So if you have two ad group ones in here, two campaign ones, one account extension, um, they'll generally use all five of those. But these, the ad group ones, will have the highest priority because they're they're really the most focused on on what you're trying to accomplish rather than the account extensions which might be you know one broad promotion that your business is running um, so that's basically it now we have our ad extensions up for both ad groups you'll see campaign there's nothing here ad group you'll see them here let's just add campaign extensions as a quick uh, example so we go into campaign And we'll just use con Ooh. pricing, our services, and PPC marketing management. And we'll save this here. So that's pretty much it. Now we have our campaign ad extension set up. We have our ad group ad extension set up. And you know, hopefully you learned something today. It's a quick little video about site link extensions. There's a lot of different things you can do with them. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to go over each and every one of these extensions.